All right, so we're here in the cargo hold. If our investigation so far has been correct, this is the true scene of the murder. Also, this is where the third suitcase came from. You know, the mysterious third suitcase that had a piece of bloody cloth inside it. If you weren't watching the last video, we investigated about the suitcase, and we're pretty sure the suitcase came from here. So, let's investigate. In fact, I believe I can see some suitcases right now. Holy suitcases, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe thinks the suitcase is cool. Whoa, 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 twelve hundred dollars? No wonder they haven't sold any of these suitcases. Okay, as we suspected, there is a missing suitcase. And some mysterious glass fragments! Interesting. But that's not all of the suitcase fun we can have here in the cargo hold. No, no! There's another suitcase! This one right here! The black suitcase which belongs to the victim! Oh, okay, there's nothing inside the suitcase. Didn't think there would be. Wait, whoa, 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 what? A photo of Francisca? Are you, are you kidding? Oh, he's not kidding. Wait, wait, seriously? The victim had photos of Francisca von Karma? What, is he like her stalker or something? Francisca! We need to talk to her and figure what's up. Francisca, um, why does the victim have photographs of you? Well, it doesn't look like we can talk to Francisca about her stalker. Or maybe we can. Let's try presenting the crime scene notes to her. I mean, this is a picture of the victim, right? That should work. Oh! It certainly does seem like Francisca knows the victim somehow. I don't know, maybe they were going out with each other or something? This is very interesting! Let's solve the mystery of Francisca's relationship to the victim! Uh-huh... Oh, so Francisca is working for Interpol, and she's working with another Interpol agent. Okay, I think, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out, and if you're smart, you probably figured it out, too. Time to use logic! And make sure our conclusions are completely sensible. Let's see, let's match the profile on Francisca with the fact she is working for Interpol. Aha! Uh -huh. See, that's the conclusion I thought. Oh, hey, and we can still do some more logic. Let's connect the broken glasses to the mysterious shards of glass. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You'd better be. I'm thinking the mysterious shards of glass come from the broken glasses. Uh-huh, that's what I've been seeing for quite some time now.
Gumshoe looks completely confused. Like he normally does. Anyway, that's all for logic. Let's continue with Francisca von Karma. Franzi, what's up with you and Mr. Hicks? Are you guys co-workers or dating or what? You came to the airport to rendezvous with the victim. Okay, so it looks like Francisca and the victim were merely co-workers. Working together to stop an international smuggling ring. Unfortunately, he died before the two of them could meet, so... I guess we don't know much about this smuggling operation. Agent Hicks was killed before he could give his report. Yes, but this raises a question. How did the victim get into the cargo hold? He can only get inside with the help of one of the flight attendants. And we only know two flight attendants, so that means our suspect list got an awful lot shorter. Alright, good. Edgeworth is recreating the crime for us. Investigation complete! Excellent! 